But the Satanic Church wasn't born until the 70s by Anton LaVey. And therefore, a man created the Satanic Church, which you know, man can base anything off of anything. Does that mean it's really a religion? Yeah, because Just because you've created a, what's actually a cult following yeah, more than anything? And it's focused all on the dark arts and everything. Yeah. And the evil powers that flow throughout the world and, you know, evil energies. It's completely the opposite of... What is taught, I mean, even in the Torah and the Talmud and the Bible, you know, is to love all like you love yourself. What the fuck is called? Whereas they teach the opposite. Because they believe in the imbalance of, you know, humanity and nature. There's always got to be a darkness to the light. Therefore, they try to be, they see it as we restrict humanity from enjoying rather than worshiping God, the Almighty, by through self-sacrifice. You know, we don't give in to the, the lust of the flesh because through sacrifice we worship. For at hand, having a satanic um, statue in the people's house, I don't agree with it. Okay. Um, could it be a freedom of expression thing? Possibly, yeah. But I don't see anything that would be good out of supporting evil in the people's house that would project that, like you would speak it into existence amongst the people. I mean, all you get is evil and wickedness. I can speak to that. I fell flat on my face a long time ago, you know, abusing women sexually with drugs, alcohol, you name it. I was there. I did it. And, you know, it took a, a spiritual encounter for me to turn my life around, which is, thank God every day for that. And therefore, yeah, I'm, I support it. I'm glad it's gone. And being from Illinois and knowing that the satanic church, temple, whatever you want to call it, they, uh, they've been putting stuff also in our capital the last couple of years. And they're very questionable displays on what they're projecting into the public's view. I mean, view is everything. You know, they're, they're trying to control perception of our views through our perception of reality. And it's under attack every day through everything we absorb, through, you know, the media we get, through the books we read, through the people we even talk to, through our corporations we work for. 